Hello everyone, welcome to Data Empires. In this video of Seagate firmware repair training, we will discuss the recovery of Seagate 500 GB hard disk. Here, we have a Seagate hard disk. Serial number of this disk is 6VVA9EFH. The model number of this hard disk is ST3500414CS. This is a pipeline HD2 series hard drive. And the size of the hard disk is 500 GB. Now, let us connect this hard disk to the system, and check its detection status. Here, it is visible that the hard disk is getting proper power, and there is no knocking sound coming from it. Now, let us check the detection in the device manager. Here it is visible that, hard disk is not detected after hardware scanning. Also, there is no hint of electrical and mechanical problems in the hard disk. Generally, there happens to be a firmware issue in such cases. Now, let us test this hard disk in our firmware software. First of all disconnect the SATA and power cable from the hard disk. Now, connect the USB TTL to the system, and diagnose the firmware. We already know that the first pin on the Seagate terminal is TX, second pin is RX, third pin is ground, and fourth pin is NC. Now, connect the cable of the USB TTL to the terminal. Now start the Seagate firmware repair software. First of all we select the COM port, then select band rate. This is a 500 GB hard disk, and it has F3 architecture. Therefore we have set 38400 baud rate for it. Now click on the open port. Here the port open success message appears. Now connect the hard disk to the SATA power connector. A response message appears in the software. After the SATA reset message, SIM error 3005 message appears. No host FIS, ready status flag error message also appear. Now press Ctrl Z. The terminal is loaded now. There exists an initialize terminal option button in the software too. Also, when the initialize terminal button is clicked, then the terminal gets loaded. To solve the firmware problem of this hard disk, First we clear the G-list. Then click on the fault repair button. Now click on the clear smart button. Smart clear success message appears here. Now we reset the power of the hard disk. We can see now that the SATA reset message appears here. But SIM error, and no host FIS error messages do not appear. Only the SATA reset message appears here. Now disconnect the power from the hard disk. Now, connect the SATA cable again, and connect the SATA power connector. Now the hard disk gets detected in the device manager. Now let us check it in the disk management also. Here click on the initialize disk. Now, the hard disk gets initialized. The hard disk is in unallocated condition at this time. In such cases we can apply any logical data recovery software for the data recovery.
For complete data recovery training, just log on to www.debtempires.com. Here you can learn all the course for lifetime in Hindi and English with one free data recovery solution. You can download all the resources easily without interruptions. Just subscribe once for a whole lifetime membership. We also offer best data recovery services for hard drive, SSD pen drive and server drives. And we are one of the leading manufacturers of mechanical data recovery tools and firmware software. For regular updates, you can also follow our social feed. RRSS at datempires.com slash RSS. Our Twitter handle at at datempires. Our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash datempires. Also, you can subscribe our YouTube channel by just pressing the bell icon on datempires channel.